front hoe bucket, stump wrecker, stump bucket, tractor shovel. It goes by a lot of names, all right, folks? We got a mini version, we have an HD version. We may come out with a mega version. I don't know if it's needed or not. Great tool here, all right? And not to be confused with a backhoe, but it can do a lot of stuff. It really is, it's a shovel, okay? So I want you to think about all those jobs that you would break out the shovel and, and do it all manual, all right? That's what this is replacing here. You're using your tractor's hydraulics to do it, making life a lot easier. And it is the fraction of a price of an actual backhoe, along with a lot of other benefits too. So what are the requirements for a stump bucket? Not much. You just need to have a quick attach on your loader, just the interface there. So these both have the skid steer quick attach. The John Deere quick attach is the other very popular one. We've shown you more videos with the John Deere quick attach than anything else. And then we recently came out with the Yanmar quick attach as well. The one thing we're missing is the global quick attach, which that's where that mega record kind of comes into play for utility tractors. You see the global or the Euro style on those size of uh, machines and these are not designed for that big of a tractor, but if we make a mega wrecker, then perhaps we will. But there's no extra hydraulics that are required. If you have a loader on your tractor, that's all you need to have. You're gonna use the loader joystick. You know, you have that curl roll function and the up and the down function. It takes a little getting used to, right? Like any new tool, but after you master it, you wonder how you live without it. So there are other stunt buckets that are on the market. This right here is our design and something that we've refined over the years it's been three or four years now and really there wasn't something out there that i thought met all my criteria and so hooked up with a, a great fabricator in iowa who builds these for me along with our versa brackets uh, hitch hangers and some other products too and we went through that development process and initially these started out as a a pallet fork frame mounted version and i really wish that would have panned out the problem with that concept was there's so many different pallet fork frames out there with different cross bracing and just different construction that there was no way to make it a universal mount. And so we had to scrap that idea. You'll see some older videos kind of going over that in, in, in the early days, but that's no longer for sale. As far as I can tell, stump buckets originated in the construction world, all right? Used on skid steers and, and then kind of bigger utility tractors. And they were all really long, three, four foot long, just gigantic, heavy attachments really awesome but the challenge with that is think about a breaker bar if you're going to break the lug nuts on to change a, a car tire well you have all that leverage on a really long arm that's out there and the same thing can be said on a really long bucket that wasn't really designed to be used on smaller pieces of equipment like compact tractors so if you're digging and driving with this point that's way out here and you hit something really hard with resistance it's likely that you're gonna bend or tweak something on your loader arms. And it doesn't mean that you were abusing your machine, it's just that it's too big of an attachment for what you're using it on. And I hated that. And so I thought, you know, there's gotta be something to do about that and make a universal way uh, to get this to the compact tractor world. And that's what I really wanted to focus on. And, and that's the world I live in, our subcompact and compact tractors. And so we first came out with the mini stump wrecker, all right, that's sized appropriately to not do exactly that, right? It's, it's not, three feet long you know and that's a limitation but you chose to buy a small tractor so you have to live with compatible attachments that are going to safely work on there too and then we came out with the hd version as well all right and we're showing this on the summit tx25 which is about the smallest type of machine that you want to put it on you start to get to a certain horsepower range and a certain weight range where uh, you can go either way with either size, and that's somewhere in the in the mid 30s typically. But some of the heavier tractors, like the Summit um, and some comparables out there, maybe the TYM or the Branson too, you know, the little bit lower horsepower but still heavy tractors that can put a lot of weight behind an attachment need to have something a little bit beefier. And so if you're in that range, right, you know, like a a, a John Deere. 2038R is a good example, or a 3038E, or just something kind of right around there. You know, I, I always tell folks that you can look at it both ways. If you're really hard on your equipment, then you're better off going with the Mini to protect your equipment, right? In case you get a little bit too crazy, it's not gonna be as likely to do damage to your loader by staying with the smaller bucket. But if you're pretty conservative or a, a safe and cautious operator, then you'll probably be okay going with the HD bucket instead and you get a little bit more depth out of that too. It is more expensive, but it's, it's a trade-off either way. And it's really about, I think, protecting your equipment at the end of the day. And now if you have like a Kubota uh, Grandel 4060 or a John Deere 4066R or something in that large compact space, then the HD bucket is definitely the way to go. We rate it all the way through the largest compact tractors. So a few of my favorite features about the Stump Wrecker, number one is gonna be the edge. And we actually tried 
quite a few different edges on here to get the right one. And we really like this one. It's an AR400 steel, so it's a harder steel. And these bolts here are designed to be the weak point. And so if you do, if something's going to give, right? If you're pushing it to the limits and something's gonna bend or break, number one, it should be the bolts. But if the bolts don't break for some reason, then the edge points should break on the, uh, or bend on the tip itself. The last thing that should bend or break should be the bucket. So that's where you wanna get the most longevity out of it. Not to say it's not gonna ever happen depending on the operator, but these safeguards are in place up here so that if damage does occur, it's gonna be these replaceable cheaper parts compared to the bigger bucket or the loader itself. One of my favorite features is gonna be this serrated cutting edge that's all along here. And again, another thing that we experimented with uh, multiple different types of edges, but this is kind of like a sawzall uh, blade, you know, and it'll cut both ways. It'll rip roots uh, going forwards and backwards on there. When you're attacking a stump, which is, you know, we call it the stump wrecker, but it does a lot more than that. One of the primary things you need to do is get rid of the roots, hack those up all the way around the stump before you actually get to the stump itself. And that's where these things really come into play and come in super handy. And I, I love where we ended up. There's no more changes required here. Always looking to add more versatility. And so what we did is add in a chain slot here. So if you have a, a log that's in the woods or down a hill or something, you have that option to throw a chain through here, drag it around and loop it around and then pull everything backwards too. Now again, put your thinking cap on, right? If you're gonna use a shovel to, whatever job you've ever done with a shovel before, you can do with this, right? And so of course, Digging out a stump can be done with it. You can also just rip through roots. You can do trenching. If you're looking to put in um, some electrical line from point A to point B, or if you're looking to do drainage, you can put in a drainage ditch too. We've done that in some videos as well. If you're looking to plant new trees, really easy to pop a hole with one of these for new trees or new shrubs or rip out old landscaping. We did a, a video showing you guys that a while back too. Just digging out everything that you need to get dug. You can haul it along in here too from point A to point B if you have a boulder that you wanna pick up and move around. Shoot, we even had a guy, oh shoot, who was that? Was that, that was Mark Lee Farms, I think. In fact, yeah, I th man, maybe it was somebody else. I can't remember, but they had a lot of ice pack. I, actually, there's a couple folks that sent us over uh, ice pack going up and down their hills where they use these to kind of scarify and break up that ice pack to make it a lot safer to traverse with their vehicles. So you can get creative. It's just a handy tool to have and again, at the fraction of a price of a backhoe, it's hard to beat. Now we ship these bad boys all over the country. The smaller ones, the minis, are gonna be able to ship UPS ground right to your house. So on the brown box truck, no freight that's involved at all. So they're just gonna get dropped off at your front door. They weigh plus or minus 100 pounds, depending on the version that you get. The weight will be in the listing. The HDs are a bit too heavy uh, to ship UPS ground. So these do go on a pallet and ship on a semi truck uh, via LTL freight on a pallet. Uh, you just get that off with your pallet forks or shoot, you can just put your loader right up to the back of the semi and hook up to it and take it off that way as well. Now you're gonna see in the listings, we do offer ballast weight bundles with both of these buckets here. Ballast weight is critical for a tool like this. You need to have power to the ground. That's where you get your traction to drive and push. And so if you don't have enough weight on the backside to keep those rear tires planted and kind of driving forward, you're really gonna struggle. That's just one of the reasons ballast weight is a critical item to have on your tractor. Having that ballast weight, it's a, you feel like you're paying money for something that you're not doing any work with, but it's a real difference maker. You know, number one is safety. It's gonna keep you planted on the ground so your tractor is not gonna tip over or be a lot less likely to tip over. So that's huge in and of itself, but it's also gonna make you more efficient doing your work. And again, that comes to things like having traction, keeping those tires planted on the ground, not feeling like you're up in the air, having to wonder if, you know, the, when the rear tires are coming down or, or getting off the loader just to make it work a little bit better. Or even if you're using uh, your front end loader, the big bucket full of dirt or a grappling a log, you gotta have the weight on the backside to counteract everything on the front side. So don't overlook that. Most of these tractors are too light these days. The Summit is a very heavy tractor though. It's gonna be one of the heaviest tractors that are out there on the market for its size. And it also comes standard with rim guard, liquid ballast in the rear tires who just happens to be our channel sponsor as well. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Folks, these are one of the most popular attachments we sell for good reason. Again, all the different functions you can use it for that if an odd job pops up, you have a tool like this on hand ready to go, 
you leave it outside, what's gonna happen? The paint's gonna fade? I mean, it's, there, there's no hydraulics, there's no electrical, anything on here. It's just a simple product, really awesome and handy. So if you're looking for one, go to goodworkstractors.com. If you don't know which size to get or what hookup to get, just send us an email, we're happy to help. And if you wanna see these tools in action or any other tractor tools in action, we have hundreds of videos out there too. Make sure you check those out. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon. Yeah.